In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of some quadrilaterals and triangles. Starting with the easiest formula to remember, the area of a rectangle is the length times the width, or algebraically we could write that as A equals LW. So a worked example using a length of 8 centimetres and a width of 6 centimetres. Length and width, they, these are interchangeable words. We can interchange them between each other or with height, with depth sometimes. Depth has a connotation with volume, but nevertheless, the words really are quite interchangeable. Okay, so area equals 8 times 6, that equals 48. And because both lengths have been measured in centimetres, then when we find the area, the area is going to be in square centimetres. Had we written 48 centimetres, then that would be incorrect because uh, you'd have written there a distance or a length, when in fact what we're trying to measure is the area, and areas are always measured in square units, which is why you need to write the little two there just after just after the centimetres or the metres or the kilometres or the inches or whatever it is you're using. Um, down here a point um, to mention is this not drawn to scale. Uh, most exam questions will um, not be drawn to, if there's a diagram they will not be drawn to scale and hopefully the exam paper will say that they're not drawn to scale but you need to assume that the diagram is not drawn to scale unless the question says measure the length of the sides and then find the area or the perimeter or measure the angle and then find you know whatever it is you need to find um, you need to assume that the diagram has not been drawn to scale and therefore you keep your protractor and your ruler in your pencil case and you use the information on the page to help you work out the missing whatever it is that you're looking for okay there's always going to be uh, enough information on the page, whether it's an angle or a side length, to help you work out um, th whatever it is you're being asked to work out. You have to use all your knowledge and everything that you've learned about the laws of geometry, but um, do not take out rulers or protractors unless the question specifically says measure. Okay. Um, area of a triangle, this equals um, base times vertical height divided by 2, or algebraically, A equals half BH. So I've got two triangles here. Um, let's say that this is the base. Then the vertical height is always the height that is perpendicular to the base. Perpendicular means at 90 degrees or at right angles. So here is uh, the distance that is at right angles to the base. So it's that length there that I would need to multiply by the base and divide by 2. Okay? Not this length here or this length here. Do not use those. Um, here we've already got two sides that are perpendicular to each other, so we can use, well, you know, let's say that, that was the base, uh, let's say that, that was the vertical height. We could, it doesn't really matter because um, whichever way around you do it, it the multiplication is going to come out with the same answer. Um, whatever you do, don't use this length here, that's the, called the hypotenuse on a right angle triangle, and uh, that is not perpendicular to either this length here nor this length here. If you do want to use that as your base for some very strange reason, let's just spin it round, let's just, it doesn't have to be horizontal but it helps to view it that way. So let's suppose that that was now going to be our base, then the vertical height is neither of those two, it's this distance here. Okay, so you can use any side length of a triangle as your base, just as long as the vertical height comes off at 90 degrees to it. Okay, um, a worked example then, or two. Okay, in this first one, the vertical height measures 8 and the base measures 4 centimetres. I've put this one on here deliberately to confuse matters, okay, because that's what you might find on the exam paper. Extra information that you don't need. You need to drill down to the information that you do need to help you solve the problem. So, area equals 8 times 4 and then divided by 2. 
doesn't really matter which order I do that in. I can divide by 2 first of all. So why don't I do that? 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, so that is 2. Uh, and 8 then times 2 is 16. And of course the units are still in square centimetres. Okay. Next one. Well, again, I've put the 7 centimetres in there just to confuse matters. It's actually the 5 and the 6 that we need. So the area of this triangle is 5 times 6 divided by 2. So I could do 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and then multiply that by 5, which is going to be 15 square centimetres. Okay, the area of a parallelogram next. Similar, in a sense, to the area of... Um, a triangle in that you need to use the vertical height. So that's not the vertical height, that wouldn't be the vertical height if, if this was taken to be the base, either of these two. If these were the bases, then this, neither this nor this would be the vertical height. What you need to use for your vertical height is this length here, or that there, either way it's the same thing. They're both at 90 degrees to the base. Okay, so you could use, uh, if you were given that one, it doesn't make any difference, if you, or if you're given that one, it's the same thing. Um, and similarly with, um, when I sp spun the um, triangle round, we can rotate this, and we could use this now as our base. in which case the vertical height would now be that distance there. Okay, a worked example then. Um, the area of a parallelogram equals base times vertical height. Um, so I've put in this extra information there just to confuse matters. It's 8 times 12 that we need to do area equals 8 times 12, which equals 96 square centimetres. Okay. Um, oh, before we go on, how about if this was a, uh, if this had been a rhombus? So for example, if it was more like this, um, if I turn this into um, something that looks a bit more like a rhombus, Okay, so the ever rhombus is still base times vertical height, or A equals BH. So a worked example would look like this. Um, the vertical height is 8 still, and the base is 9. So if I do 8 times 9, then I get 72 square centimetres. It's, it's a, a, a rhombus is similar to a square, obviously, in the sense that all four sides are the same. However, um, don't let that fool you into um, making the mistake of doing 9 times 9 when finding the area of a rhombus. It's the perpendicular height that you need to use, or the vertical height. So you do 8 times 9, not 9 times 9. Okay, area of a trapezium. I've drawn two trapeziums, trapezia, here. Um, the definition of a trapezium is that it has only one pair of parallel sides. So these are two trapeziums, often the shape that is least recognized just because it has so many different variations. Um, and in fact, there's a, there's a particular breeds of trapeziums that I'm showing here. This is a right angled trapezium and this is an isosceles trapezium. But that's, uh, that's more by the by. To find the area of a trapezium, you need to add this side here and that side there together and then divide your answer by two and then multiply the, uh, that answer by the vertical height. So let's call this side length here A, and let's call this one here B. Then um, I'm going to do A plus B multiply, uh, divided by 2, divided, yeah, half that, and then multiplied by the vertical height there, which is H. OK, and down here, um, let's say that one's A and that one's B and you've got the vertical height h which is here and then we're going to multiply um, 
a and, uh, add a and b together, divide by 2, and then multiply by h. Okay, so a worked example. 9 centimetres along here, 11 along there, add the two together. Divide by 2 and then multiply by the vertical height, which is 4. Okay, 9 add 11 is 20, divided by 2 is 10. And then we've still got to multiply by 4, so the answer is 40 square centimetres. Okay, and then this example down here, we're now going to add 9 and 12 together, and then divide by 2 and multiply by 4. Um, so that would equal, well, 9 plus 12 is 21, divided by 2 is 10.5, or 10.5, and then we need to multiply by 4. So 10.5 times 4 is 44, and the units are square centimetres. Okay, that's the end of that video. Um, thanks for watching.